Meanwhile, the drama continues in the resolution process of DHFL. Uh, the National Company Law Tribunal ordered a stay on the company's resolution proceedings. The Committee of Credi Creditors has deferred the voting on bids to December 3rd. Uh, sources also tell ET now that three of the bidders have written to the COC against uh, accepting Adani's last-minute offer for the entire company. Priyanka Ayer joins us with more on the story. Well, a major development has taken place in the resolution process for DHFL. The NCLT has put a stay on the proceedings of the resolution process for DHFL till the 3rd of December. This has come after the National Housing Bank uh, put out a plea saying that they want a larger share in the proceedings and the process of the DHFL resolution process. So now what has effectively happened is that the COC is not allowed to vote on any of the revised bids till the 3rd of December. In fact, we are picking up from sources that the COC will also be opening those four revised bids that they have received on the 3rd of December. What we are also understanding is that all the other three uh, bidders, Oak Tree Capital, Piramal Enterprises as well as SC Loewy, have written to the COC against accepting the last minute offer that Adani Properties has put in for the whole company. Remember Adani Properties made an offer last minute just last week saying that they will bid for the whole company of DHFL instead of just the wholesale book and that's why uh, all the other bidders are miffed that they, there should not be a change coming in at this last moment and they are saying that if that bid is accepted they may even threaten to walk out. So we will have to see finally what happens on the 3rd of December but until then the discussions on the conditionalities in the bids by all the bidders etc will be continuing. The COC will continue to meet and discuss these issues and also meet the bidders but the bids will be open only on the 3rd of December and the voting process will happen after that.